Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy whatever day it is. I think it's Thursday. Um, good morning. <clears throat> Hopefully you're seeing this in the morning. Hopefully it went up when it was supposed to. But we have been having some technical difficulties. I have my coffee with me this morning. This is um, coffee over cardio coffee. This is the coconut one. I love this one. It seriously tastes like coconut. And the messy bun one, those of you that have been here before and seen that, that's another one that I have sometimes. It tastes like cinnamon rolls, like, so good. So I have that this morning. I am still a bit stuffed up, so I might sound a bit winded. I apologize, and also nasally, as I did last time, so I apologize for that as well. So I'm gonna just take notice of my coffee, and we will get started with today's video. So again, welcome. Welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome in general. I am Mackenzie. I love fun, creative, pretty things, beautiful things. I like a lot of makeup and just kind of playing around with makeup, having fun with it, being creative, doing fun stuff with it. I also love bags and totes. Um, I'm just kind of being creative and having fun. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to just hang out with me and have some fun, please subscribe below. I'd love it if you do. And for today, we're going to take a look at Saint... I think you can see it. There we go. Um, S-E-I-N-T Beauty. This is a company. Oh, I forgot to grab the little things. I will grab those in a second to show you at the end here. Um, the little tin covers. Sorry. The little things because you know what that means. But this is a company that is, it is a direct sales company. So I just want to let you know that. I had a friend who had a party and so I decided to support her party and I ordered some of it. Um, but this is, they come individualized tins, and then I did swatches last night. Don't mind my finger swatches, they are creams. Um, they're individual tins that come, and you can put them in and out, and so like I got the double stack, but they're magnetic, and it's just single pans, and then you can just stick them in there and organize it however you want. So I will grab like the tin covers at the end, I'll remember to do that, but this is what we're going with today. And it is supposedly like a five minute face of makeup is what they say they are. We'll see, this is the first time I've used it. I swatched them last night, but that was it. Um, I just got it. So I have a, um, ugh, my foundation shade and the person doing the party color matched me with the picture I sent her. So we'll see how well that did. This looks a little dark, but it actually might work when I blend it out. Um, so we've got the foundation, the like concealer, the highlight, they call them both highlights, but I would say this is more like your foundation, your concealer, contour, and then bronzer. And technically it's supposed to be just like one step and then also like your blush. They all, it's a 3D foundation. So I don't put them over and you're not supposed to layer them. You just put them on the face and then blend them. So we'll do how we do. And then I have an actual highlighter, an illuminator, <coughs> and then a lip and cheek, and then some eyeshadows. So. Let's go ahead and get started and see how it goes. You are supposed to use it with a brush is what I've heard. Um, they have their own brushes, I don't have those. So I'm gonna use some of my brushes. I have like, I'm gonna try this angled one cause a lot of it's just going on in different spots and also they're smaller pans. It's very magnetic, it keeps wanting to flip clothes. So I'm gonna do that <clears throat> and then I'll fluff it out and like kind of blend it out with this. And then I have my regular eyeshadow brushes for eyeshadow. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this. There is a card that they have that kind of shows where everything goes and I will post a picture of that so that you can see that. This is kind of what we're going with. So I'm gonna follow it. The highlight like they were talking about is gonna be this one where it's going under the eye and up here which will be nice because hopefully it'll cover that Bessie up. And then contour, they say to go up here, down here, and in the nose. Those of you that have been here know that I kind of prefer more of a bronze tour, but we're going to try it today. We're going to see how it looks. And then the foundation kind of goes everywhere that there's not something. The lip and cheek is supposed to just go like back here. And then the illuminator will go here and here. Um, Am I missing something? And then the bronzer over top kind of bronzes things. And that one I don't think is on that picture, but let's go with it. So you're supposed to start with the contour. And they use, people I've seen do this use all the same brush. So we'll see how this goes. I 
don't know how it's gonna work. Just trying to make sure I pick up some color. And my hair's in the way. I should have put my hair up. There we go. I'll tuck it behind my ears. And I'm just gonna use the mirror in here for today. Cause yes, I'm not in my room with my normal mirror. And they drag it all the way along the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just hope that I can blend it in there so that I don't have that awkward line. Cause I don't like that. I like my face to look, you know, seamless. That's what we're all going for. Oh, that's pretty. Not. Okay, there we go. It is a cream though, so it is hopefully gonna blend down nicely. We'll see. Like I said, I'm just playing with this. What's going on there? I must have stuck something somehow in the bronzer. It's very, very creamy. All right, and I'm gonna go down here. And I do usually contour this part of my face anyway. So, and I've been really wanting some new cream bronzer contour highlight. I don't have any of those. So hopefully I really like this one and can use it. Because it can be layered and I can layer other stuff over it if I want to. Okay, so there we have some contour. It's supposed to blend down, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that we're gonna get a nice blend down. Okay, now I was playing with my camera, but I think I'm gonna just keep it here. You're gonna see a little bit of highlight because it is earlier in the day and I have I tried to close the window to make it all normal. So it's just the ones in front, but it is what it is. All right, what did I just do? Contour, so now we're gonna do, supposedly with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the foundation one. No, that seems silly, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it on my chin because it's on my thing now, along my nose, up in here, and then I'm gonna grab the contour one so that way I know where I didn't put that. I don't know if this is the ideal brush, but that's uh, my fault because I don't have their brush. Because I usually wouldn't use this kind of brush up by my eye, but we're going with it. Okay, I'm just gonna pinch it so that I can get a little more like defined in here to get a little bit more under my eye, cover up those dark circles I got going on. Oh, it seems a little better. Okay, now, <laughs> that's fun. Let's cover my chin up better. All right, now I'm gonna actually go in more with like the foundation color. And oh, she's a thick Bessie. I'm gonna put that in here, up around here, in between there, blend it in here a little more. I will go back and blend everything at the end, but this is how this one's going. Just kind of going around the contour there. Same thing on this side. I don't think I took this side at all. I think I got everywhere. <clears throat> it is actually a pretty good color match. Sorry, now I'm covering myself up. I'm just trying to see. Make sure I got everything. I think I got it everywhere. Minus I'm gonna put the lip and cheek. I can go under there. Okay, now I'm gonna flip. And I'm gonna take the top part for the illuminator because it's all white and I haven't really used the top part. So I'm gonna use the illuminator up here. No, you know what? I'm gonna use my finger for the illuminator up here. 
It is definitely a really, really, really pretty pearlescent color. It's called pearl. <laughs> so I suppose that's why it's pearlescent. Um, I'm going to use my regular blush brush for the lip and cheek. And it's just supposed to go in there. So that's what I'm going to do for today. Even though usually I like a lot more blush and y'all know that. I'm just going right in here along the cheekbones. Okay, maybe I'll come down a little just because I like that. And I like a little bit up here. Okay. I just have fun with blush. So <clears throat> there's the blush. All right. We got some, some colors going on. I'm going to buff it. I'm going to blend it and hopefully all will be well. Let's see what happens. That's less obnoxious. Okay, I'm not hating it. It's kind of nice. Looks like just a nice... I'm gonna make sure I get my neck. It's a nice, fairly even. It did kind of even out. I have a little bit of dryness in here, so I don't know if you guys can see it in this camera. I was trying to look at my thing, but... Um, it's not catching too bad. I'm really examining myself because this is the first time I've used it. But it is definitely a nice creamy foundation for my first impression. I kind of like it. So, ooh, I'm gonna bronze. I'm scared. The bronze is real bronzy. It's real creamy. Let me just kind of blend that around. Like I barely touched into the bronzer. The bronzer is by far the most creamy. I'm gonna bring the, the buffer back. My good friend, the buffer. Not bad, looks pretty even. Okay, buffer reels. We need a lot more blush. just because that's the way I like it. But I'm just gonna come back with the blush. And I chose a pretty like, not super, super pigmented one. It is a light pink. Try to get the, there we go. Open to the mirror. Just go along the cheekbones and I I like it there, so I'm gonna put it there. Just bring it in. What do you guys think? I think it's not terrible. I kinda like it. And it did buff out really nicely. I am pleasantly surprised by how well it blended. I like it. So far so good. I'll keep playing with it and let you guys know, but I am pleasantly surprised. It's a nice cream. You can see it like hitting the lighting, especially the side where the window is. And it's a nice cream. I like it. All right, I'm going to do some of the eyeshadows that I got. And also, this is a lip and cheek. And it's really glossy. Like you can see how glossy that one is kind of. Like if I put it on my finger here, bloop, 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 bloop. I'm gonna use a black background. There, you can see it's kind of glossy. On that finger, you can kind of see it. It's pretty similar to my lip color. But as you know, so I could almost, I know, I don't know why I said as you know, 
I could almost consider it close to a nude on me, even though it's totally not like a nude. But that's, this is what I'm saying, as you know, those of you who've been here know that how I feel about nudes. A lot of times, like, light pinks are a nude for me. Different colors are going to be a nude for different people. So. I think this is called Summer Love. And, or Summer Love, Summer Love, and something like that. At the end, I will tell you what all these are when I grab the tins. I'm pretty sure I remember, like, one of these, I think, is linen and ash. And this is the Bella Bronzer, because that's the only one. Oh, look, you can see my lips in the mirror. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then Pearl summer love loving something i will grab the tins and read you it also says on the back of all of them but i don't feel like taking it out right now these ones i do know for the eyeshadow i have lullaby which is a matte bend and snap is a shimmer and then foxy's also a shimmer so that's where we're gonna go now i'm gonna put oh how do i want to do this i think bend and snap is the lighter one so i'm gonna cover my do kind of more of a base with bend and snap because y'all know I love shimmer if I can find my brush okay so and let me oh, which finger did I just use okay I don't want to use the same finger I'm gonna swatch these ones for you as well there's bend and snap lullaby and this finger's clean foxy I know these aren't the best swatches ever finger bend and snap I need to swatch better there we go okay so that's pearl still on the top the highlight then I have bend and snap here I'm gonna set this down okay bend and snap is this top one lullaby and then foxy is super gold and while we're swatching things I'm gonna swatch the lip and cheek I put on with this finger up above here you're really gonna see how glossy it is So it's up above pearl there. It's like that pinkish color and it kind of blends down on me. I'm gonna go more out here so it's a better swatch because that was not a good swatch. There we go. It's super glossy. You can kind of see the gloss to it because it is a lip and cheek. So those are those colors. All right, now let's put on some eyeshadow. Let's see how this goes, shall we? So I'm just going to go everywhere with bend and snap. It's definitely right in my color, you know. I like the mauves, I like the pinks, the purples, the mauves. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's right there in my comfort zone of color. Don't mind my flipping back and forth. I do have the eyeshadow on the bottom and the mirrors on the top. And since we're out here, I need this mirror. Okay, so I just kind of started with that one all over as a base. Probably should have put some of the concealer up there to prime it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes without it. Maybe next time I will. Now I'm going to take Lullaby. That's not the one I want. This brush. Lullaby, the matte in the crease area. Back and forth and back and forth. Ooh, that's pretty. It is really similar to, <laughs> can you tell I like this color? It's really similar to the one in the Juvia's palette that I use all the time. So definitely a fan of that color. And I like to go just a little bit higher on the crease to kind of show the color and then blend it down a little but then really work it into the crease. That's how we're looking so far there. And I'm gonna do just a little bit more in the creases to really, especially since it is more cool tone, that's gonna to draw it back, the joys of color. Cools are going to make it recede from the eyeline, warms are going to make it pop. So then I'm going to go in with the Foxy down along the base here. With this one, my slightly angled one, for kind of the inner corner and down 
along like the top part of the eyelid, the front, the base, whatever you want to call it, down in here. Oh, she party. I'm going to just kind of highlight more in there, in the inner corner. Grab some more for the other eye. Okay. So that's kind of where we're looking right now. So bend and snap you're seeing along the top up here. In the crease is lullaby and then foxy down in here. And I think that I'm happy with that. I'm gonna grab, because it showed on the thing, I'm gonna grab pearl again. With that highlight, actual highlight, and just kind of put it up here along the brow bone. And again, because pearl is so like glossy, I kind of want to just use it with my finger. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah I like that all right so that's the look I'm gonna go ahead and put on the my mascara eyeliner and eyebrows and then I will come back that was a little bit more than five minutes but that's okay I was kind of talking through it so I'll put those on and I'll be right back all right so to close out I have everything back on my face my the rest of my eye look more looking good um I noticed I don't know when I don't know if you noticed but the Bella, that trunk that was missing, is on my shirt now. So I'm going to hope she comes out. Um, it is definitely really creamy. Oh, I did want to touch up when I was looking. I wanted to blend out in here a little bit more. It just kind of got a little... I don't know. It's definitely creamy. It definitely creams. So we'll see how it wears, how it looks. But I grabbed the tin lids so that I can show you quickly to close out. All right, so we're going to start here with my foundation one which is, is this it? Yes, Aurora. Okay, so that's the tin, that was that one, I think. And then linen, I believe, is this one. Ha, cool, they stick below it. All right, so that's linen, Aurora. Um, whoops, nope, this one, Ash. Ash is the contour, so that's that one. Bella is the bronzer. That's the only color of bronzer they have. Bronzer they have. Um, so these were the three that were like color matched for my skin. Your skin's obviously going to be different depending on whatever tone you are. And then these ones, pearl is the highlighter that I was told would go best. So these are like the tin sizes too, just so you get reference to that. Um, but that's pearl. And then summer loving, is that what it's called? Just summer love. Summer love is the lip and cheek that I got. And again, like lip and cheek, you can pick whatever color you want. And then these just came in the bag. And I already told you we have Lullaby is the matte, Bend and Snap, and Foxy are the shimmers. So there's the face, there's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Maybe if you're here for to see how Saint looks. I mean, I found a YouTube video when I was shining side, you know, I wanted another opinion on it. So this is my first impressions of it again. I like it, it did blend out nicely. It looks pretty good, it's creamy. Um, so I'm hoping this will wash out, it's definitely really creamy. But there is my first impression of it, and I might come back to it. Like I know I will definitely be using these for, especially you know the cream products and like the foundation does seem to be pretty nice. So we'll see how it wears and I'll probably come back to this later. All right, so just before we wrap up, I am gonna just insert this clip in there. Obviously I have changed because I took off the shirt, I'm washing that shirt to try and get the bronzer off of it. Um, so I did change and I'm back now. I'm just gonna insert this one in here. But I did go to the ring for about an hour and a half. Um, so you can kind of see how things are holding up. I wanna show you the eyes better because I don't think I did that really well in the first clip. And I just, I do like these colors. Again, they're colors that tend to be at home on my face, so there's that um but the whole like makeup look is kind of oh, that spot is still not blended in well it was hidden by my hair i didn't notice it <laughs> the whole makeup look is um actually doing pretty well oof -da, the ring light definitely makes my hair look like it's greasy don't like that so 
but it is definitely like got a nice blend to it and I do really like it. It is creamy like I said, but it seems to be staying in place. Um, I have my mask here that I wore to the rink and those of you who know like they get a little wet and I've talked about that before because the condensation. So I'm going to show you the inside of my mask. If you don't want to see that, that's fair. Go ahead and look away for a second, but here's the inside of my mask. It is still, it's a white mask, so obviously you're going to see makeup. There's makeup on everything, um, but because of how creamy it was, I was expecting a lot more to come off, and it really didn't. So, okay, the mask is gone. So, <laughs> yeah, that is just, I just wanted to show you that. I know it's kind of maybe gross, and that's fair. You didn't want to see that. Um, but I just thought I'd share that. It definitely seems to stay on pretty well, especially for a cream face, and I do like creams. So, I just wanted to share that. I'm gonna put at the end here of this video a before and after clip, and that's also in the thumbnail, um, like a side by side. I did take a picture before I put it on and then after, so that'll be at the end there as well. So I hope you enjoy. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna keep hanging out with me, having fun, trying different things, um, playing with the makeup that I already have in my stash. I do that a lot just because I don't spend a lot, a lot of money on makeup. Um, I kinda try to stick to my budget with that, but if that sounds good to you, and you want to keep hanging out please subscribe below and give this a thumbs up again if you enjoyed it i will see you guys next time have a fabulous weekend and remember to always be taking good care of yourself bye